Hey everybody, Airsoft Punish one here, showing you a couple benchmarks before and after overclocking both my CPU and GPU. So you can see here before I did the overclock, my uh, core voltage, core clock, memory clock on my Radeon HG6850, my graphics card, and then you can see the speed 3.4 gigahertz on my Phenom 2 X4965, my processor. Then you look down after the overclock, you can see all the uh, voltages, the clocks, everything, the 4.1 gigahertz speed on my processor. So if you want to pause the video, look at the differences there, they're pretty significant. Now I'll show you the results in game. So if you look over here, look down here first, you can see the um, load and idle temperatures before I did the overclock. So on the GPU here and the CPU here, so you can look at the numbers there if you want. And then over here you can see after I did the overclock the load and idle temperatures on my GPU and CPU you can look at the significant differences there in the numbers and over here are the um, the numbers that really matter the FPS in game oh these are all Celsius by the way these numbers down here obviously so in TF2 I had before the overclock 143 FPS and um, after 182 Crisis 38 versus 50, StarCraft 2 43 versus 63. Now, all these benchmarks I did were almost exactly the same. I did it for two minutes long. I basically picked a uh, an intensive part of the game, ran around, shot a bunch, or jumped around, you know, all that stuff, and used fraps to record it after that. So here are all my old specs over here. I'll put it in the video description also if you can't see it for some reason. Some of this isn't right, like this, I just overclocked the CPU, obviously, so that's not right. And, um, yeah, so, thanks for watching. Remember, pause the video, look at the graphs, see the differences there. So, thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe.